Charles Blake stage at Hello Free Studios. It's time for Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. Introducing today's contestants, an administrative supervisor for a diagnostic center and accounts receivable clerk from Grand Junction, Colorado, Riley Conklin, a computer-controlled tool machine operator and a computer software engineer for applications and system software from Valparaiso, Indiana, Antonio, Perry, and our returning champion, a supermodel from Bentonville, Arkansas, Alexis Stonebridge whose 66-day cash winnings total $4,252,090. And now, here is the host of Tales Slondian Gardens trivia, Tiffany Young. Thank you, Debbie. Greetings. I made some funny money for Lexi, along with two other contestants, gave me in last week's game. At the end, Alexis was almost defeated by over $2,500. After a brief recovery from the trip, I decided it might be time for another game. Alexis is back for her 67th, and Antonio and Riley are here to defeat her. Let's get this game started on the double. Sam, reveal the categories and the board please. I challenge you to find an extra money chance inside those categories. Here they are, aren't you lucky, pop cap games including those from the past and present, Trick Moon. I wonder if it will become a show or not, who knows, places to go in Wyoming, FIFA World Cup locations from over the years. From Brazil to around the world, you identify the location from every year this FIFA World Cup soccer championship is held, and finally, punctuation marks, and you need to know what punctuation mark and what it means. Alexis, you start us off. I'll take punctuation marks for 300. A punctuation mark indicating an exclamation. Alexis? Is it an exclamation point? Correct. Select again. 600, same category. A punctuation mark indicating a pause between parts of a sentence. It is also used to separate items in a list and to mark the place of thousands in a large numeral or a minute interval or difference of pitch. Alexis again. And I know the decimal point in Europe. Is it a comma? That's the one. Select another. Punctuation, 900. These punctuation marks are used to separate sentences or elements of reference lists. Alexis once again. Is it a period? I knew you could get it right. Select again if you can. Punctuation for 1200. This punctuation mark that indicates an interrogative clause or phrase in many languages. Alexis yet again. Is it a question mark? Boom. You've got that one right. Go again. Make that category exit for 1500. And Alexis, you gave a good start to this round and also discovered the extra money chance. Now, Alexis, you might not have enough money for a big one. You may do a true blue if you like. How much do you want to risk? A simple 2.5 grand could do. Okay, $2,500 to make it $5,500. And here's your clue. Pay special attention to it. These punctuation marks are used in pairs in various writing systems to set off direct speech, a quotation, or a phrase. The pair consists of an opening and a closing, which may or may not be the same character. And yet, are they quotation marks? Absolutely. What a great way to wrap up a category, Alexis. Go again. I'll take, aren't you lucky, for 300. You woke up this morning, breathing and with a heartbeat. You get to enjoy today and hopefully wake up again tomorrow. You get to see your family and friends, and enjoy food and this daily parts luxuries. It can sometimes be easy to forget to be grateful for the most basic thing, this itself. Riley? Is it death? Nope. Uh, Alexis or Antonio? Looking for life on that one. Alexis, back to you. Lucky for 600. At least you have this. Heard that before? According to Valerie Rice, holistic living editor for Belly Fnet, you should be grateful for this because it is the foundation of who you are. According to Rice, you don't necessarily need to be physically and mentally well to feel healthy, 
But when you do feel healthy, it's one of life's greatest blessings. Antonio? Is it health? We'll accept that. You are now in control of the board. Since I am praying that Trick Moon will become a show someday, I think I'll have Trick Moon for 900. Despite receiving positive reception from people Cartoon Network chose to reject it due to this going on at Warner Media itself. This was confirmed on Geneva's Twitter account in a post made on October 16, 2020. Yes Riley? Is it corporate restructuring? You got it. You are now in control of the board. Trick Moon for 12. The frog character named after this small picturesque cave bears a striking resemblance to a Hello Kitty character Kirapi and he is similar to Chubbum from Mau Mau, Heroes of Pure Heart. Yes Alexis? Is it Grotto? We'll take it. Go again. Lucky for 900. People often complain about their job, calling it the daily grind or worse. But having a job is something for which you can really be grateful. A job probably gets you out of the house every day and adds variety into your daily life so that you are not just sitting at home on the couch. Even more, a job helps you pay your bills and means you're not standing in the unemployment line or wondering how you're going to eat each week. So even if you don't have the most exciting job in the world, remember to feel some gratitude for it every once in a while, because your life would be a lot different without it. Yes, Antonio? Is it employment? Perfect. Select again. Trick Moon for 15. Despite the abrupt news in October, there is still a strong dedicated fan base for the pilot, with multiple these made to get it green light by HBO Max, Disney Plus, Netflix or Disney. They are petitions. Riley, continue. Pop Cap Games for 300. This game involves lining up three or more multicolored gems to clear them from the game board, with chain reactions potentially following. Alexis? Is it Bejewel? Right on. Select another clue. Pop Cap, 600. From a grid of available letters, players connect letters to form words. As words are formed, they are removed from the grid and the remaining letters collapse to fill the available space in this game. Can you spell the words correctly? Alexis again. Is it bookworm? Awesome. Select another. 900, same category. This game is a 2001 virtual pet simulator video game developed by Flying Bear Entertainment and published by PopCap Games. Before PopCap Games' involvement, the game was a web-based Java game released in 2001. Alexis once again. Is it in San Aquarium? I knew you could get it right. Select again if you can. PopCap Games, 1200. This game is a 2009 tower defense video game developed and published by PopCap Games. First released for Windows and Mac OS X, the game has since been ported to consoles, handhelds, and mobile devices. The player takes the role of a homeowner amid a zombie apocalypse. Antonio? Is it plant vs. zombies? We'll accept that. You are now in control of the board. PopCap Games, 15. This puzzle video game released for the Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X in 2005. A deluxe version was released later in the year. The story follows a young Greek man named Claudius who is shipwrecked and rebuilds temple mosaics in order to gain the favor of the gods. Riley? Is it some sort of ancient puzzle game? No. Nope. <laughs> Antonio? Is it pixelous? We'll accept that. And that brings you to 4200, almost half of Alexa's score of 8500, and that brings us to our first game. We'll be right back after this. If you want to participate in Tales Londian Gardens Trivia Games, call 893-479-6005. Go to AvelloBreezeStudios.net or sign up in person at 2899 New Haven Road, Chainsville, Georgia, 30778. They say, Riley Conklin from Grand Junction, Colorado has an obsession with NASCAR racing.
The 2022 NASCAR Cup Series is the 74th season for NASCAR professional stock car racing in the United States and the 51st season for the Modern Era Cup Series. The season started at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum on February 6 with the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum. That race was followed by the Blue Green Vacations dual qualifying races on February 17 in the 64th running of the Daytona 500, the first points race of the season at Daytona International Speedway on February 20th. The regular season will end with the Coke Zero Sugar 400, also at Daytona, on August 27th. The NASCAR playoffs will begin with the Cookout Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway on September 4th and will end with the NASCAR Cup Series Championship race at Phoenix Raceway on November 6th. This season marks the debut of the next-gen car, which was originally supposed to debut in 2021 but was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, this is the first season to have races covered by USA Network, which takes over for the now-defunct NBCSN. Well, it's a shame to see him go, but he's my favorite, though. Antonio Perry is from Valparaiso, Indiana and wants to visit Detroit and has never visited this Michigan city before. Live music has been a prominent feature of Detroit's nightlife since the late 1940s, bringing the city recognition under the nickname Motown. The metropolitan area has many nationally prominent live music venues. Concerts hosted by Live Nation perform throughout the Detroit area. Large concerts are held at DTE Energy Music Theater. The city's theater venue circuit is the United States' second-largest and hosts Broadway performances. The city of Detroit has a rich musical heritage and has contributed to a number of different genres over the decades leading into the new millennium. Important music events in the city include the Detroit International Jazz Festival, the Detroit Electronic Music Festival, the Motor City Music Conference, or MC2, the Urban Organic Music Conference, the Concert of Colors and the Hip Hop Summer Jams Festival. Well, Antonio, speak for yourself, because all of the Detroit music nonsense makes me want to see a concert there. Now we have returning champion Alexis Stonebridge from Bentonville, Arkansas and hates it when another host of Tales Londian Gardens trivia, which I'm currently hosting, dies. Well, Tiffany, Andrea, who is the usual host, has passed away two or three years ago. The people that she touched, they were not YouTube fans, nor Tales Landian Gardens trivia fans. They're grieving her as much as I'm grieving her. Everybody was worried, everybody was very upset and concerned, and wanted to know badly what was going on. I don't want to say it's a responsibility, but it sort of is. Death is sanitized in our culture. People were really thankful that they could see her too because they were grieving for her. People were telling me that they were crying all day and they can't sleep and they can't eat. They were every bit as broken up as I was, and it was actually really cruel to not include them. I don't understand how people who've never really met us could be so sad. They're grieving her as much as I'm grieving her. We'd already talked about it, that as much as we had births on our channel, we wanted to have her death on there too, because this is what life is really about. We're not just doing a vlog, it's literally our life in pictures. I miss her so much. This was from Tom, Andrea's wife. Oh Lord have mercy. That's saddening. Andrea was the host of our show back then before I took over. Now, Antonio, since you answered last, how about you continue by selecting a clue? Trick Moon for 15. The outline of Dr. Bleak is similar to that of Trick Shot, most noticeable in these. Alexis? Are they whiskers? That's right. Select another. FIFA World Cup locations from over the years for 300. The FIFA World Cup was planned to take place in 1942. This European country officially applied to host the 1942 FIFA World Cup at the 23rd FIFA Congress on August 13, 1936 in Berlin. In June 1939, Brazil also applied to host the tournament. The beginning of European hostilities in September 1939 prompted further plans for the 1942 World Cup to be cancelled, before a host country was selected. The FIFA tournament did not take place. Alexis again? Is it Germany? Acceptable. Go again. Can I do the same category for 600? 
this Colombia player made World Cup history when he scored a goal direct from a corner kick, called an Olympic goal in Latin America, the only one ever made in a World Cup, past legendary Soviet goalkeeper Lev Yashin. Alexis once again? Is it Marco's call? He's the one we're looking for. Select another clue. Same category, 900. The 1978 World Cup was held in this country, causing controversy as a military coup had taken place in the country two years earlier. Allegations that Dutch star Johan Cruyff refused to participate because of political convictions were refuted by him 30 years later and none of the teams decided to stay away. And that is Argentina, where Buenos Aires is located. Alexis, back to you. Same category for 12. The 2006 World Cup was held in Germany. It was the first World Cup for which the previous winner had to qualify. The host nations continued to receive an automatic berth. Four African teams also made their debut in the World Cup finals, Togo, Ivory Coast, Angola and Ghana who impressively made it to last 16 by beating this country, third ranked in the world. 2-1, along with the United States 2-0, before losing to the defending champions Brazil 0-3. Yes Riley? Is it Czechoslovakia? Also known as the Czech Republic, yes, we'll accept that as an answer. You are in control of the board, select again. Wyoming for 300. Here's Miss Madsen with a clue. On March 1, 1872, Yellowstone became this for all to enjoy the unique hydrothermal and geologic features. Within Yellowstone's 2.2 million acres, visitors have unparalleled opportunities to observe wildlife in an intact ecosystem, explore geothermal areas that contain about half the world's active geysers, and view geologic wonders like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River. Yes, Antonio? Is it the first national park? Acceptable. Select another. Trick Moon, 600. Dr. Bleak's dragon has a similar design to Steven's corrupted form from this limited series. Yes, Alexis? Is it Steven Universe Future? Acceptable. About a little over a couple minutes to go. Select again. Category Exit, 300. Two young wolf pups Trickshot and Amp. Pocket become the reluctant guardians of this when the prince their heroic big brother, is imprisoned inside. When a disgruntled wizard steals it, Trick and Pocket jump at the chance to prove themselves, show off their cool moves, and oh yeah, save their big brother from danger. Alexis again? Is it the magic moonstone? Acceptable. Have another go. Wyoming for 600. This time, Jenny has a clue. It was named in 1870 during the Washburn, Langford, Doan expedition and was the first geyser in the park to be named. It is a highly predictable geothermal feature and has erupted every 44 minutes to 2 hours since 2000. Yes, Riley? Is it Old Faithful? Located in Yellowstone National Park, which we mentioned earlier with Miss Madsen. We'll accept that as an answer. Continue on, there's only a minute left. Aren't you lucky for 1200? A wise, thoughtful and mysterious advisor in Ugly Dolls, voiced by Wang Liham, but he's a little insecure about his abilities. Yes, Alexis? Is it Lucky Bat? Why not? Go again. Category Exit, 1500. Start your day by eating this frosted toasted oat cereal and marshmallows because they are magically delicious. Yes, Antonio? Is it Lucky Charms? That's the one. And in this case, they're magically delicious. <laughs> Finish the FIFA World Cup locations category for 1500. Because of the relatively high ambient temperatures in Brazil, particularly at the northern venues, cooling breaks for the players were first introduced during these games. In this World Cup there was the debut of sensors to avoid phantom goals with this, used to determine, in doubtful situations, whether the ball crossed the goal line. Riley? Is it goal line technology? Good answer. And perfect timing too, which brings you to 2400. Because that sound means we are out of time for this round. Alexis, you have a big lead with 13,000. Antonio, not much of a pickup for a couple clues, 
but you have 6,000, and Riley, you have third place with 2,400, and Riley is in third place, and that means she gets to go first in round two. We'll be back for the next round right after this. If you are from American Samoa, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, Puerto Rico, or the U.S. Virgin Islands and are planning to participate on Tennis Landian Gardens Trivia, notify the executive producer via email immediately. Thank you. Welcome back to Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. There is some mistake during the making, but we fixed it. Now let's move on to round two. Remember, the point values are doubled. Sam, reveal the board please. This time, not two, but three extra money chances are hidden inside the board. I challenge you to find them in these categories, Holiday Road. If you are planning to go on vacation this summer, Microsoft Operating Systems. Think you can make Bill Gates proud? This episode of Bluey is called Amtrak Roots. I traveled the world and the seven seas. Riley, since you are in third place with 2400, why don't you start us off? I'll take Microsoft Operating Systems for 600. This consumer-oriented operating system was developed by Microsoft as part of its Windows 9X family of operating systems. Alexis? Is it Windows 95? That's the Windows operating system we're looking for. Select again. Same category, 1200. This consumer-oriented operating system was developed by Microsoft as part of its Windows 9X family of Microsoft Windows operating systems. The second operating system in the 9X line, it is the successor to Windows 95, and was released to manufacturing on May 15, 1998, and generally to retail on June 25, 1998. Alexis again? Is it Windows 98? That's the Windows operating system we're looking for. Select again. Same category, 18. This proprietary graphical operating system was produced by Microsoft, the first version of which is released on July 27, 1993. It is a processor-independent, multi-processing and multi-user operating system. Alexis once again? Is it Windows NT? That's the Windows operating system we're looking for. Select again. Still the same category for 24. This major release of the Windows NT operating system was developed by Microsoft. It was released to manufacturing on August 1, 2012. It was subsequently made available for download via MSDN and TechNet on August 15, 2012, and later to retail on October 26, 2012. Alexis yet again? Is it Windows 8? That's the Windows operating system we're looking for. Select again. Category Exit. 3000. Whoa, Nilly. You discovered one of the third extra money chances. Now, Alexis, you can do some or even a true blue. How much you want to gamble? True blue. For 38,000. All right, here's your clue. This major release of the Windows NT operating system was developed by Microsoft and oriented towards businesses. It was the direct successor to Windows NT 4.0 and was released to manufacturing on December 15, 1999, and was officially released to retail on February 17, 2000. And I already know what it is. Is it Windows 2000? Only one word to describe your answer. Acceptable. Select again. Holiday Road for 600. The Thief Hotel is set on the Jafulman waterfront, with gold trim and touchy-feely textures an underground tunnel leading to the spa, and Heron's eye views over the harbor. Riley? Is it Bergen? Sorry, that's wrong. Antonio? Is it Oslo? Acceptable. You are now control of the board, so select another clue. Traveled the world for 600. Here's Miss M with a clue. Ah. Uh, Italy, the destination with a little bit of everything. This capital city needs absolutely no introduction, with history and tradition waiting for you around every single corner. 
take a trip to the world-renowned Colosseum, and picture yourself as a famous Roman emperor watching your favorite gladiatorial games, quite a world away from your 9 to 5. And that city is Rome, as in ancient Rome. Antonio, back to you. 1200, same category. This time, Jenny has a clue for you. This European country is one of the most serene, picturesque places in the entire world, so it would be amiss to leave it off of this guide to the world's top spots. Firstly the lakes, just, wow. Lake Lugano, Lake Geneva, Lake Zurich, and Lake Lucerne all look like they belong in a film, with the brightest of blue waters accompanying towering mountains and fascinating architecture. Riley, and I already know what it is. Is it Switzerland? Acceptable. You are now control of the board, so select another clue. Seven seas for twelve. This ocean is the smallest and shallowest of the world's five major oceans. It spans an area of approximately 14,060,000 kilometers squared and is known as the coldest of all the oceans. The International Hydrographic Organization recognizes it as an ocean, although some oceanographers call it the Arctic Mediterranean Sea. Alexis? Is it the Arctic? Of course it is. Select again. Holiday Road, 1200. Peter and Paul is a colorful hotel where no two rooms are alike, set in a deconsecrated Catholic church school complex which preserves a homey intimacy blocks from the arts district and the quarter. Alexis again? Is it New Orleans? Acceptable. Select again. Holiday Road for 18. Michelin starred. Art Deco restaurant Bohemia at Club Hotel in St. Helier has become a destination in its own right, and you can roll up to your room post-supper or drift off in the dreamy spa. Riley? Is it Jersey? Acceptable. Go again. Seven C's for 600. Riley, just got the record. You have also discovered the seven decks to money change on the board right now. Now Riley, you have less than 5,000. Whether you can double it or use some of it to round up to an even thousand. How much do you want to gamble? Since Alexis did a true blue, I guess I'll do it too. You sure about that? Okay, here's your clue. Take a look. This ocean is the third largest of the world's five oceanic divisions, covering 70,560,000 kilometers squared or 19.8% of the water on Earth's surface. It is bounded by Asia to the north. Africa to the west and Australia to the east. I think I'm going to go with. Is it the Mediterranean? Ooh. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> because it is not one of the seven seas that we are talking about right now, and you know that was the Indian, not the Mediterranean. We're not talking crap over there. <laughs> Riley, continue. Seven seas, 1800. This ocean, also known as the Antarctic Ocean, comprises the southernmost waters of the World Ocean, generally taken to be south of 60 degrees S latitude and encircling Antarctica. Riley? Is it the Persian Gulf? Sorry, that's not the ocean we're looking for. Antonio? Is it the Southern Ocean? Acceptable. You are now control of the board, so select another clue. Traveled the world for 1800. Ashley has a clue for you. If you're hoping to spend some time flat out on a soft, sandy beach while working on the tan of a lifetime, then look no further than this Caribbean destination. You're spoiled for choice when it comes to serene sandy strips in the corner of the Caribbean, with the likes of Miami Beach, Accra Beach, Rockley Beach, and Brandon's Beach all offering their own small slice of paradise. Alexis? Is it Barbados? No doubt about it. Have another go. Amtrak routes for 18. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alexa, you have discovered another extra money chance. How could you do that? A big, fat decision right there, Alexis. Less than 50,000. If you want to round up to 50,000, you can. Do a true blue and bet big. You can do that too, or even bet some of your money, which is also okay. How much do you want to gamble? Let's do 25,000 this time to see how I handle it well. 25,000? Is it all? Okay, 
for 67200 Here's your clue. Pay special attention to it. Discover the traditional southern charms of a thoroughly modern state. Amtrak offers two routes for travelers who want to explore the many wonders of North Carolina. One route travels between the vibrant commercial center of Charlotte and the state capital of Raleigh. The other route covers the same route, with service extending up the East Coast to New York City. Are they, uh, the Piedmont and the Carolinian? And, I think, you, are, right. <laughs> what a heart-touching minute on the Gardens trivia. You select again, Alexis. This episode of Bluey is called for 1200. Bandit uses Bluey as a pretend piano and bingo bags to have a turn. When the siblings rediscover a magical xylophone which can freeze Bandit in a position, Bingo gets upset that Bluey is not sharing the toy with her. Bluey learns that taking turns is an important part of playing. Yes, Alexis? Is it magic xylophone? In other words, Bingo. Have another go. Holiday Road for 2400. One of this ancient tourist country's best beachfront hotels, Four Seasons Resort Charm El Sheik is a Moorish-style resort replete with towers, arabesques and malchrabies and overlooking the Sinai Peninsula. Antonio? Is it Egypt? Right on. Continue on. Category Exit, 3000. Just out of town in the Blue Mountains, Strawberry Hill's sensational infinity pool overlooks the city with views that stretch for around 50 miles. Yes, Riley? Is it Kingston, Jamaica? Absolutely. Wanna go again? Episode of Bluey for 600. Bluey blows up her last balloon and plays a game of this namesake episode title with Bingo. Trying to keep the balloon in the air for as long as possible. The siblings call upon Bandit to make the game more challenging, which leads to an outdoor chase to protect the balloon from popping on the grass. Riley again? Is it Keepy Uppy? Correct again. Have another go. Traveled the world for 2400. Here is Dave with a clue for you. Olds being the operative part of the name, because this vacation destination is a trip back to an old world antiquated England and is definitely one of the best holiday destinations for 2022. Its green, unspoiled countryside is broken up by quaint towns replete with cottages with thatched roofs. Embark on a hike through the Jurassic bedrock of the area, passing through the towns of Bibbury, Castle Coombe, and Tetbury. Yes, Riley? Is it some sort of background scene on Emmerdale? No, sir, that's not what we are looking for. Antonio? Are they the Consuelds? Nice going. Have another go. Amtrak routes for 1200. Ready for a real adventure? Let Amtrak take you deep in the heart of Texas. Hop aboard trains 21, 22, 421, and 422, traveling between Chicago and San Antonio, through major cities from Austin to Dallas. Connecting service between San Antonio and Los Angeles is available via the Sunset Limited. Wind through the land of Lincoln, across the Mississippi River, and through the Ozarks to Little Rock and the Piney Woods of East Texas, onward to colorful, cosmopolitan Dallas, through Austin, home of the University of Texas, and finally to San Antonio, where the legend of the Alamo and the Riverwalk attract people from all over the world. Antonio? Is it the Texas Eagle? No doubt about it. Have another go. Bluey for 18. Bluey and Bingo summon this episode title namesake to tidy their playroom, with Bandit pretending to follow their commands. However, when the robot malfunctions, Bluey and Bingo realize the importance of cleaning up their messes themselves. Yes, Antonio? Is it Daddy Robot? I knew you could do good. About a few minutes remaining. Select again. Bluey for 24. When Bingo is sick and in the hospital, she receives a video from Bluey. A short film she has made with Bandit and the family. The story is about a young dog called Bumpy who gets sick and her owner, Barnacus, who supports her through the period of difficulty. Antonio once again. Is it Bumpy and the wise old wolf hound? In other words, Bingo. Continue on. Category exit. 3000. While on a picnic, 
Bluey plays a game of this episode titled Namesake with Snickers and Coco, where they must travel across the park by only stepping on shadows. Bluey tries to teach Coco how to solve problems and follow the rules instead of taking shortcuts to make the game easier. Antonio yet again. Is it Shadowlands? Thank you for clearing the category and making a category exit. Why don't you have another go? Amtrak routes for 600. This train, numbered 52 and 53, transports you and your car, or van, motorcycle, SUV, small boat, jet ski or other recreational vehicle, non-stop from the Washington DC area to Florida, just outside of Orlando. Yes Riley? Is it the auto train? Excellent choice. If you're happy and you know it, select again. Let's finish the category I traveled the world for 3000. And here is Astro to finish off this category. Visit the Montauk Lighthouse, the Long Island Aquarium and the Cooper's Beach among the other highlights. Head to the Ocean Road Beach in Bridgehampton, study the displays in the East Hampton Historical Society and see the animals at the Elizabeth A. Morton National Wildlife Refuge. Riley? Is it Long Island? Sorry, that is incorrect. Close, though. <laughs> You want a shot, Antonio? Are they the Hamptons? Nice answer for a category exit. About a minute to go. Select again. Seven Seas, 24. This world ocean is the second largest of the world's five oceans, with an area of about 106,460,000 kilometers squared. It covers approximately 20% of the Earth's surface and about 29% of its water surface area. Is it the Atlantic? Acceptable. Continue. Amtrak routes for 3,000. Convenient trips from the Big Apple to the Big Easy. With service from New York City to New Orleans, trains 19 and 20 give travelers a unique window to the beauty and heritage of the American South. You can tour Monticello or enjoy a wine tasting in the charming Virginia College town of Charlottesville or enjoy a stroll through the vibrant shopping and dining scene of underground Atlanta. As you travel further south, you'll reach New Orleans, where you never run out of things to do. From jazz clubs to Cajun restaurants to Mississippi River boat rides, the city was simply built to entertain. Antonio again? Is it the Crescent? That's the Amtrak train route you're looking for. Okay, we'll keep the remaining two categories and remaining two clues hidden for now as Antonio's total has brought up closer to 30,000, 600 short and Alexis is at between 50,000 and 75,000, 18,400 over and 6,600 short, and Riley, I'm afraid I'm going to ask you to leave. Because your answer to the last question in the category I traveled the world starring Astro of the Clue Crew didn't work out. You were close when your answer is Long Island, when Antonio answered the Hamptons. Since you finished at negative 2400, you are unable to partake in the final round but you will get $2500 for a third place finish, thanks for playing with us anyway, but lucky for you too, Alexis and Antonio, you two are going to deal with this category by yourselves, and this final round category is... Theme Parks I've been to some of those, including Disney and Universal, as well as Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, and Carolina. Make your bets and we'll be right back right after this. Closed captioning for Tales Londian Gardens trivia is sponsored in part by your local Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Alexis and Antonio, are you both ready for the final round? Yes, I am. I was born ready. Okay, so the dividers are used because you don't want to cheat like on a school test your teachers give you. <laughs> the category is theme parks. Like I told you, I've been to some of them, even Disneyland California. So once again, the category is theme parks. And here is your clue. This park kicks Cedar Point out of its top spot ranking as the amusement park with the most roller coasters. This theme park has 18 coasters, including the Green Lantern. Located near Los Angeles, the park also has plenty of Hollywood flair for those who prefer to stay on the ground. You two players have 30 seconds. Good luck to the both of you. Your time starts now.
never heard of Disneyland California, but never heard of Disney World Florida, which I've been to in the past. I've also been to Busch Gardens Williamsburg twice and Universal Studios Florida once. All of which were a raging success. We'll start with Antonio Perry. You have 29,400 going into the final round today, and what did you come up with? Is it Canada's Wonderland? No, that is wrong. We are going for America, not Canada. It'll cost you 28882, a palindromic number we've ever seen, and $518 it drops to as we go to reigning champion, Alexis Stonebridge. What did you come up with? Is it Six Flags Magic Mountain? Of course it is. One and a half dozen roller coasters in total, which includes the Green Lantern. Yes, that is right. You'll add 67890, excellent wager, and that brings you to an absolute new world record, $136,290. Alexis, good news. With a big fat world record of $136,290 surpassing your other world records in the past days, weeks, and months. You now have a 67-day total of $4,388,380. Fantastic job, and you get to come back and play again for your 68 game next week, and she wins again. Another epic win, even if the cameraman, Taylor Friend Martin, isn't here. We decided to have a backup cameraman, named Rubble, in which we'll see in Las Vegas for the upcoming celebrity tournament in less than two weeks. I'm Tiffany Young. Thanks for playing and I'll see you next time. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by Breeze Airways. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.